Nintendo Strixture here, and I'm drunk, and I'm here to tell you what's been going on in my life lately, because I haven't uploaded videos in forever. So, I did start art school, like, in August, but then in February I dropped out of art school because my health was deteriorating real bad. Like, really bad. The way it was really, art school was so fun when I was there. It was the best. But it was so hard work. And I couldn't hang on to it. And one day, I will upload a video of all the shit I did when I was in high school. Uh, I've also moved on my own. I live on my own now. I don't live with my mother anymore. Which is really nice. Uh, for... Uh, how long? Two and a half months, I lived in a 15 square meter studio apartment on my own which was super tiny and that included a bathroom and a kitchen and a living room and sleeping area and all that shit and now i am back in the village where i was raised which is a cheaper place to rent so i have 50 square meters that's over 30 times the size which is so awesome um uh, i yeah, look, look at my bookshelf area in my computer. Whoa, I'm drunk. I'm really drunk. I've had a lot of vodka today. Okay. Um, I took a six months, half year break from my brass band, which. I mean, it was nice of a break, but it was so fun to get back. I got back in January, and then I dropped out of school in February. <sighs> so I was at the National Norwegian Brass Band Competition. I can't remember what position we got right now, but we did better than we did the year before. So that's good. And my sister lost her division but she was not elite division so losing is not that bad and they had to get like a new conductor like three days before the competition i'm really drunk this is the third time in my life i've ever been drunk yeah so i live on my own i got the nintendo switch i was never able to get the wii u because when it first came out i was broke for like several years and then I told myself, when I started like slowly getting money, I told myself I would get the Wii U when it got like a pro pro proper Zelda game. But then I never did until Breath of the Wild. And then that was a dual release for Wii U and the Switch. So I just got the Switch instead. And I, I haven't finished Breath of the Wild, but I've like done almost everything in it. But I took a few days break from it which was stupid and then I haven't gotten into it yet because uh, also since then I've finally caught the Hamilton bug and god I love it it's so good so I can walk I got the album yes and I've got hang on the book and the book is based on and the vocal selections with piano which is cool uh other upgrades since then i've um i've legally changed my name and gender i'm now legally named Donia, uh, daniel and my gender is officially male, which is so awesome. But look at my flat. I live here on my own. This is just a living room. So here you can sort of see the kitchen. That is that's a tiny, tiny spare room. And there's the hallway. That's the entrance. I live in an attic. So I've got a bathroom and a bedroom in here. Um, whew. 
I've also started writing a book because that's my passion. That's something I wanted to do for so many years is publish a book. But every time I start a book, I write like a couple chapters in and then I just give up because I get a new idea. So this idea is set in the Regency era in Britain. And it's about some imagine how it could be to be gay in that era. I've also arranged uh, working on my musical arranging skills. So I've arranged Wait For It from Hamilton for a brass band minus a couple cornets parts and with a vocal soloist because the melody doesn't work that well without lyrics. And I hope maybe we can play it in my brass band once. Or, if not that one, I could do another one without a vocal soloist. I'm lying on the floor. Uh, up with me! Also, got like some manga hair. And I think I have some art I haven't shown you guys. I haven't posted anywhere. So, I've got this. I'm alive. Also, I got a mohawk now. That was really bad because I didn't cut it properly last time because I do it myself. Um, I also did a thing for a, a wedding present. But it was like a late wedding present. Yeah. It was a conductor of my brass band and one of the players in my brass band that got married in on New Year's Eve in England. So my brass band hosted a party for them held a party for them, and um, at the party I gave them a wedding present, even though the band's wedding present was the party, and that was a uh, drawing from their wedding. So I got a picture from their wedding by checking out the bride's Facebook. And then I did some watercolor around it, like rainbow, so it was like super colorful, and then a realistic drawing of them in the middle, and it was so cute, and they loved it. Especially when they got drunk. He was like, when I had to leave, he was like, totally hugging me and wouldn't let me go, and like, I'm not gonna sell it when you become famous and your paintings become like super valuable, I'm still not gonna sell it. <laughs> uh, I love music. I want a piano. That's when I get money because I'm currently unemployed and I haven't gotten money yet. But I'm I'm gonna get a job, but it's gonna be slow because of my health, so I can't work full time. But but um yeah, when I get money, I'm gonna get myself like a keyboard because I miss playing the piano, even if I only live like. 20 minutes for my mom and she has a piano but it's a bad well it's not a bad piano but it's out of tune and my mom's there though she's going away for Easter I'm not and I have to go to her place because of the cat I have to look after the cat then imagine that I live in an attic and I have people living below me uh, they're really sweet but they have four kids the youngest of whom is like one and a half months old. It's like ridiculously young. So, and the eldest is twelve, and then there's two between, and they run. And the guy, the, the the eldest kid, kicks a football against the wall like all the time from the outside. This is the outside. Yeah. The most of my f furniture is like gift uh, well the TV was my mom's the TV bench is something my mom bought for me several years ago the couch was my brother's the table was my grandmother's the desk is mine these my mother bought for me the bookshelves my mom bought two of them and I bought one of them myself the books are mostly mine the desk with the printer on is mine the, my bed my mom bought for me again several years ago when I was like 
17? It was when I was still with my asshole ex. And we started dating when I was 16, but we were together for a year, so we broke up when I was 17. It was a summer, so yeah, I was 17. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a lot of shit. So I didn't do anything for the channel when I, after I started art school, because art school was so, awesome. so hard work. And then I didn't do, do, do anything after I quit art school because, firstly, I was kind of depressed about the fact that I had to drop out of school again. This is my second time dropping out of school. <laughs> First, I dropped out of music school, which I actually we did, but I didn't finish completely. I didn't do all the subjects. I didn't do, like, the proper subjects, like Norwegian and German and history and religion. Because who cares about that shit? I got English. What more do I need? <clears throat> and art, and music. So I didn't finish composing and arranging, which I wish I could have done. But because I had German, I couldn't have composing and arranging. But why well, was that? Sucked. Today I've been eating vodka gummies. Me. Because I'm 20. And I'm old enough. And I'm almost 21, and I'm depressed because I should have been in New York right now, but I couldn't go because of health, and I wanted to be in New York, and then I could I didn't get my money back from the insurance company because my mom convinced, was so convinced I was covered by her insurance that she didn't call in to check if I was, and then it turned out I wasn't covered by her insurance, and then all that money just went down the fucking drain. So much fucking money. Um. Whoa. That just happened. Look at my pretty book. Also, I started learning Welsh, which is cool. Welsh is such an interesting language. Also, my brother lived in Japan for like six months, and now he's back in Oslo, but he's probably gonna go to China in the summer and be there for a year. And then after he's done in China, he's gonna go back to Japan. Because right now he's studying Japanese, but then he's gonna study Chinese in China. And then go back to Japan and study Japanese there. What did it? Oh, sorry. I thought I saw something. I thought something was wrong with my books, but it wasn't. It was just my imagination. Anyway. So. My brassman has a concert soon. 5th of May. Which, considering we only have one of rehearsal a week, is pretty soon. Also, I've been playing a lot of ukulele because my mom got really hooked on Grace Vanderbilt, so I checked it out and I liked it. And I've been practicing some of her songs on the ukulele. I'm not very good. Ooh. Also, I've become obsessed with John Lawrence and Anthony Ramos, but mostly John Lawrence. And I think Anthony Ra R Ramos, Ramos, Ramos whatever came from John Lawrence because John Lawrence is so awesome and he's beautiful and longer. He was only 27. <laughs> I have Darth Vader and he's next to my soprano cornet. I need to get up. But that's work. Okay, so, <laughs> what was I talking about? I've been drinking vodka and I like some Lawrence. I'm writing a book. Yeah, I mentioned that.
It's sort of... I got the inspiration for the book while having uh, the 95 Pride and Prejudice miniseries on in the background while reading John Lawrence's Wikipedia page. I love him so much! He's the best! He's so awesome! Okay, get up. I have a couch. And I have a fucking amazing gaming chair. And a fucking amazing PC with two screens. And fancy keyboard and mouse well the mouse was really cheap because it's a cheap mic it's the anderson which is like it's like the ikea of electronics in price wise it's like surprisingly good quality for the price which is probably quite dubious but when you're and also, this PC is bought with a loan. <laughs> it's like... It's a student... Norwegian student loan. It's not the same as American student loans. There's a student loan. But I bought it because I needed it for school. Because I'm, uh, I'm a... I'm a digital artist. Also, I have a... I, I've gotten a... Assignment for my brass band, art wise. Well, not from my brass band, one person in my brass band. Where's Steve? I want Steve. That's not Steve. Where's Steve? Steve! Are you here? Steve! Steve! I found him. He's still my best friend. Also, I've been making a lot of homemade fries. I got my deep fry fryer. Make fries and salmon. Fries and salmon every day. Okay, salmon every day, not fries every day. I'm Norwegian, of course I love salmon. Also, look at this super awesome china that I bought for like Nothing used. It's Japanese. Also, oh wait. Silk up and 